All right, so we're going to create a uh, gear geometry now uh, for this one, and then we're going to use the wire to uh, wire it out of a piece of stock. So in the home page, uh, go to the run add-in, and then in this list, go down and select gear, okay, and hit open. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to update this um, to a specific gear. Um, right now, yours may not default like this, but this is what we're going to be looking for. We have an external gear. We're going to have a 40 tooth count. We're going to create all of them. The root fillet uh, by default is fine. Um, you could tweak that if you want. I'm not really worried about it. Um, you know, the only thing about the wire is the wire radius is four th is five thou. So if we change this to ten thou, it is better. Um, just make sure that's okay with the gear you're going to be working with. Okay, it should be, but always double check that. Um, pitch diameter is all set. It's going to be point eight three 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 three. The diametral pitch is forty eight. The OD is seven eighths, and then the pressure angle will be fourteen point five. Okay, so make sure those specs are there. Again, we change the number of teeth, the root fillet, the PD, diametral pitch, the outside diameter, and the pressure angle is what we're going to change. Everything else is okay for now. All right. You could change the, the radius of the gear here if you want, um, the, tip, the tip fillet radius. That's fine, uh, but we'll leave it for now. So what we'll do is hit green check, and there's our gear on zero, zero. So what we need to do now is create a wire tool path. Okay, so let's create a circle that represents the bore in the center of the gear. So go to circle center point, select the center, and let's just put a quarter inch diameter in here. Now that diameter, we could wire it. We're not going to this example. Uh, if you go to make these, if that's something you're working on, uh, you could wire the center, then wire the gear. That way they'll be concentric. But it's not super critical. You could drill and ream that, pick it up with the wire, and then start from there. So we're going to leave that alone for now. Let's uh, create our threading hole or our start hole for the wire. So we would locate here, move to here, and thread. Okay. So uh, what I want to do is let's just do a line this way, and I'm just going to go 0.75, then hit green check. And the 75 doesn't matter. It could be closer. It could be further. It doesn't matter. Um, it's up to you. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put another quarter inch hole. And the only reason I'm doing quarter inch is just in case you want to um, drill these um, and ream them. This one really needs to be reamed uh, if you plan on keeping it for the gear. This one can be whatever. Uh, the bigger the hole, the easier it is to thread the wire through, the, the better it will work. So eighth inch is still okay. You get below that, you've got to be very accurate with how you indicate the part in and things like that. So we're just going to go quarter inch for this example. It gives us plenty of room. And again, if you drill and ream this, it's not a big deal. Just go ahead and drill this. You know, even if it's you know undersized for a reamer, it doesn't matter as long as it's a decent size hole. Um, that's what matters. Uh, we could also move this closer if we wanted to, but this gives us plenty of space uh, to wire quick and come in. Um, it's it's there's some some things you could change, but just for this, the first time doing a wire example, this is perfect. It'll be a nice strong rigid setup. So now what I want to do is I need to break an intersection, this portion of the top of this gear, and this line. Okay, so I'm going to go to break at intersection, this line, and this line, and hit enter, and then I'll clear colors. Okay, and then I'm going to delete this line. And notice that now this curve, or this chain, will be two points here. Okay, that'll help us define the start point of our wire path. Now what we need to do is define a thread point. So if you go to point position, select thread point, and put it in the center of this hole, and you'll see this little icon here. That's our thread point. So we'll hit green check. And the thread point will be part of our chain. So now we define a thread point. We have all our geometry spe in, in spec and where we want it. Okay, and again, you could change this depending on what you're doing. This is just an example. And now we're ready to assign a wire path. All right, so... Uh, there's going to be a content folder on Blackboard, and that content folder uh, is the same as any other content folder with the post and control information that I've given you so far. Uh, so I recommend that you take that content folder and obviously drag it into the interface. And then, uh, just like the mill, uh, in Wire, in the Machine tab, you will have uh, Owner Conversational. Click that, and you'll get Machine Group 1 with the owner. 
uh, information there, which is the machine we're going to be running this on. Uh, you could rename the first toolpath group rough gear or just gear if you want. It's up to you. And now we're ready to assign our wire path. So if we go to wire paths, where tool path, where tool paths is, we'll go to contour. And in contour, we'll select the chain icon, select the thread point, hit apply, then carefully select the chain. Make sure it goes all the way around. And make sure the green arrow is at that break point. Okay. Then we'll hit green check. So now, this is going to look different. Do not, you do not have to change anything in the wire power or even anything in this first tab here. Um, the only thing I recommend is change the wire diameter to 10,000, which is what we're going to use. Okay. And that's it. So we don't need anything else there. In cut parameters, we are going to perform a rough cut. We're going to have no skims. Okay. So we're not going to finish. And that's relative. Uh, the, the rough cut should be good uh, for what this is going to be. Um, if skims are required, uh, that is a different uh, topic, and we will probably cover skim passing uh, in another module, uh, potentially. So, uh, we're going to tab this, and tab is an area that this part is going to hang on to, uh, basically, until we're ready to hit start and cut it off. That way, the part just doesn't drop on its own in the wire and short circuit, damage the part, break the wire, things happen. Okay? So, the tab width, tab width is going to be 10 thousandths. We're going to have one tab. And we're going to make the tab cutoff move with skim cut. This is what you want to see. You want chain one roughing with a stop and a tab cut. That's what we're looking for. Okay. We're only going to need one way for cutting method. Compensation can be control and auto. That's fine for right now. Stops. We're going to use as a stop before tab. All right. Everything else should be okay. We're doing a very simple operation. So we will hit green check and green check again. Now you'll see our wire path. Okay, the green. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is run this, and you will see it starts at the thread point and comes in and moves around. Back plot is perfect for this. Make sure you have the uh, quick verify on. Hit play, and you'll see it cut around. Okay, you will see the MO point right in the corner of the gear, good spot for it. All right, you'll see it come back and go to, you know, go to cut the wire. Again, you could probably stop the machine once the gear is out. You'll bring the Z up, get the gear out, and you could be done. There's no reason to go back unless you want to cut multiples. So I'm going to hit the B button on the keyboard and go backwards so we can see the wire. Okay, so there it is moving. If we hit S and go forward, you'll see it hits this stop point right there. It's perfect. It's going to MO there waiting for us. Then when you hit start again on the wire, it's going to go complete the pass until you hear the machine. You'll hear the different tone in the machine when the wire starts, when the part breaks off. Then it's time to, you know, hit feed hold and uh, get the part out. But you can watch this run. You'll hold back and you'll see it. It just goes around. It is comping on the right side, so we're good there. And that's really it. So uh, let's take a look at this in G code. Okay, so just like every other pass, uh, we'll hit G1 and post this. All right, and we'll take a look at this code. So it's not going to look like normal. There's, it's not G code. Um, the machine will take G code, but the conversational is um, the newer owners take that, and that's what they're looking for, uh, to my knowledge. Now, other machines, Mitsubishi, Sodic, other brands. Um, usually take mostly G code. Some other machines have different M and uh, I remember Mitsubishi had T codes. Um, so they're all different. It depends on what you're running. Um, so you'll see uh, low tech ONA. This is where your cutting conditions go. If you need to run the wire, let me know and I can set a time aside for you to show you how to set up the machine and you know get the cutting conditions correct. All right. You have inch mode, absolute travel to X minus three quarter. Now you need to make sure that the wire is cut prior to hitting cycle start on this. Otherwise, it's going to short circuit. You could put a wire cut command in there. Uh, it's up to you. Um, you could move to minus 0.75 and delete this if you want. It's up to you. Um, so just know that after you find the, the center hole, you should just cut the wire right, if you're using this program exactly. That way, it'll move. It'll travel, uh, which is like G00 to minus 0.75. It'll set the coordinates or G92 on other machines. Okay, the thickness call out 
it changes the settings and depending on what you're working with so there's different conditions for each thickness of material the PRGP is program point that's for tapering we're not going to use that AWF is thread the wire tech thickness is again it's redundant because this is the cutting condition line so we're picking the tech thickness out of the entire tech file the criteria is how many skims Okay, and the trim is the current pass. So if you have a criteria of one, it'll be one rough, one skim. Criteria two is one rough, two skims. Okay, so we're not doing any skims, so it's a zero criteria. The trim pass, zero is always roughing. So this is a roughing pass. We're going to comp to the left, and then it starts cutting around. Okay. Go all the way down to the bottom, cutting around the gear. You'll see the stop line. It'll stop there. It's like an MO. It'll continue cutting until you hear it. You know, you'll hear it change. You'll hear it. The, the, you'll hear the slug break off. After that, it's going to go back to X minus 0.75. Cut the wire or a comp off. Cut the wire and the program. So this is a basic wire EDM program to cut gears. If you need help again with the cutting conditions, set up a time with me and I'll show you. I'll show you how to load the program. I'll show you the machine itself. Uh, if you have any questions, again, let me know. And uh, hopefully this was helpful.